Hello and welcome to the MSU Billings Library. This short tutorial will introduce you to a great resource for finding scholarly articles relating to nursing, health care, and allied health issues called the Cumulative Index of Nursing and Allied Health Literature, or CINAHL. This is a great database to use because it covers a wide variety of topics including nursing, biomedicine, alternative complementary medicine, consumer health, and 17 allied health disciplines. It is a comprehensive source of nursing and allied health journals. To get to CINAHL, we will start from the university's homepage, www.msubillings.edu. In, in the column titled Academics, click on the link to the library. This will take you to the library's homepage. From the library's homepage, there are several ways to get to the CINAHL database. Today, we will get there by clicking on Get Articles, then the A to Z database list, then C, and we'll scroll down just a little bit to find CINAHL. From the database homepage, there are several features you will want to be aware of. You can limit yourself to articles that are full text in this database, but that will eliminate many articles in the database, so you may not want to use this. You can also limit by the publication date and also to peer-reviewed publications, which are articles that have been reviewed by experts in the field before publication, and these kinds of articles make professors very happy when they show up in your bibliography. There are additional limiters that you can use as you become expert searchers. To do a search, you will want to put a search in the search box. How about diabetes in children? This gives us a results list of nearly a thousand articles. We can limit those results by choosing only academic journals and selecting articles that have been published in the last five years. This will reduce the number of results. Looking at the results list, you'll notice several things. You'll find the title of the article, the author, the journal it was published in, and all the other publication information. You will also notice that under each entry you will have something that says PDF full text, HTML full text, check for full text, or linked for full text. When you see PDF or HTML full text, that means the full text of the article is available in this database, and clicking on either one of those links will take you to the full text of the article. Linked full text is a link that will take you to the publisher's website where they will try to sell you the article. And check for full text will take you uh, to a service that checks all of our other databases to see if that article is available in one of our other databases, which this article happens to be. So you do still have access to the full text. If something is not available in this database or one of the other databases that we subscribe to, you can request articles through Interlibrary Loan for free. If you click on the title of any article in the list, full text or not, you will see additional information about the article, including the summary of what the article is about. Under the Tools section, you can print, email, save, or cite the bibliographic information. If you use the cite tool, it provides you with several different citation styles and gives you the information that you will need to include in your bibliography. Always make sure to check the citation against the style manual to make sure that everything is correct. This is one of the great time-saving features of the CINAHL database. When the full text of the article is available, you just click on the full text link and it will open the article. 
Specifically when working with PDF files, be aware that you will need to save or print from this gray bar here rather than the tools on the side. Using the tools on the side will print you a blank page, but using this print here will actually print out the article for you. If you have an HTML full text article, then you will want to use the tools on the side for printing, emailing, and saving. If you come across an article in the list where it says check for full text and it doesn't find it in another database, it gives you the option to request this item by interlibrary loan. If you have not used Interlibrary Loan before, you can click on this link for first-time users to create an account. If you have questions about using Interlibrary Loan, there are two great tutorials on the How Do I page where you found this tutorial about creating an account and ordering materials via Interlibrary Loan. We hope this short tutorial on CINAHL has been helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions, please visit us at the Ask Here desk in the library, call us at 406-657-1662, or send an email to library at msubillings.edu. Happy searching!